Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Now, I believe I did mention something about last week being the final time we're going to be playing Watcher on Monday, but it's actually going to be this one, for sure, this time around. Uh, level, uh, Ascension level 18. Elites have more challenging movesets and abilities, so let us begin. It will be the last time we're playing the Watcher on Monday, so it's going to be back to our normal rotation as of next week. Uh, which is going to be Ironclad on Mondays. And we're going to exchange our Relic for Philosopher's Stone. Alright. Uh, that's fine by me. I see a Triple Rust with a single weight. Lovely. Well, let us get up there. It's to the left and then just straight to the right. We're taking a little bit of damage here. Maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, probably shouldn't have. I'm going to get Eruption. Hopefully I get a lot of attacks. Uh, we have a lot of energy, so... Oh, no. Oh, boy. Lucky me. Now there's no more eruption. Oh. Did I mention I'm a little bit tired? I haven't mentioned it today, have I? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, hello. That's early enough. Upgrade to random cards? Always! Afterwards, I guess we're resting, but for two upgrades? Sure. I'm happy with that. Especially when we have the extra energy. I love life. Now, this means that I'm going to hope to get a pressure point build out. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's just my hopes and dreams. That's it. It's as simple as that. Pressure point, eruption, strike. Snickle oil of all things. Do we need AoE guaranteed? Yes, we do. So I'm just going to straight up pick this up. We are going to need it. Now, the problem with Philosopher's Stone is that it's fine for Act 1. It starts getting bad at Act 2. <laughs> or depending on... Oh, I should have actually used the other defend. Uh, or actually depending on uh, what boss you're fighting on this act. Because the Hexaghost can be brutal. <laughs> I guess so can the Guardian, but realistically, I think the Hexaghost is a bigger deal. More multi-head attacks. Alright, well, this is where we're resting. I'm not going to go in the, with 30 HP, even though I think we were going to be fine. But we have two more upgrades afterwards, and I will not be resting. Alright, this is actually not a bad idea. I do want to erupt. Or do I get one pressure point out? That's like, kind of a... I might get Vigilance next turn. Probably won't, but that's a little bit of extra damage. 22 to be precise. Okay, I did not. Well, in this case, we are taking the 42. Yep, we are. Taking a big risk here, but it might actually be worth it. Was it? Maybe, maybe. I'm taking an even bigger risk, but all we need is one attack, even with the negative two strength. Ah, no, no, we don't. I miscalculated by one. Oh, hello, Damaru. After I get two pressure points. Sure, and on two HP. As long as I survive, we should be fine. We are not going to survive here, are we? Oh, come on, I have difficulty using that. I need the block for this out of a... Two pressure points this early? I need to rest. Oh, okay. Could have been worse. That's fine. That's a dream come true, especially if we get a third one soon. Now I just need to uh, all of a sudden wake up and actually, hello, uh, and actually play very, very well and very cautiously. Okay, I do love a good bronze scales. Ooh, this enemy could be uh, interesting to fight. My split is at, what, 35, 36? Uh, 35, but I had I didn't have much of a choice. I'm absolutely willing to use the explosive potion here. Yeah, it's better on the boss fight, but I think we have a better chance of surviving the boss fight than this fight. Actually, I don't think we have a chance of surviving this fight at all. I mean, that's not enough. All right, so what's going to happen is we are going to uh, use eruption on the first one. We're going to consecrate. And we're going to hope. That's the best I got. Okay, good. We have one attack. Okay, I was a little bit worried there. The strike was three cost and uh, the consecrate was, what was it, three cost? I couldn't play it. So that was very worrying. 
Well, we managed to survive, and that is the important thing. Ah. Humbug. Okay. Mm, should have just used eruption. I was gonna take 12 if I used eruption. At least one of them was gonna go away. Oh no, I shouldn't have actually done that. I I have a strike. And I do need to work on that one. I really don't want to take 8 though. 22 HP in... Okay, I'm not weakened anymore, but... That's not gonna help. Alright. Can I survive this? Uh, no. Problem is I have one energy. Are you kidding me? Oh, I should have eruptioned on the first turn. I should have done it. I was going to take two extra damage, but I was going to deal so much more and it was going to be so worth it. Oh well. It happens. Well, at least I'm awake now. Alright. Hmm. There's not a good path here. There's a double rest with a single elite. No, it it's a double elite. Alright, never mind. Well, I guess we're going for it anyway. I'm trying to figure out which one's better. The middle or the left. And it looks like it might just be the la the middle. Yep, yeah, just it's gonna be the middle. Let's go. Alright, first three fights are free, then we have double elites. Yeah, sure, I'll pick up talk to the hand. My pressure point idea has... Um, my dreams of pressure point have already been broken and shattered, so... Ugh. I guess we're going eruption. Alright, Serpent. Yeah, we're taking this. We haven't taken any damage yet because of uh, this thing, so we want to get a boost a little bit. Uh, do you want Flying Sleeve? I prefer it upgraded there. Alright, first Leet. Mm -hmm. I do want to talk to the hand to be active, but I have two abilities to actually get rid of uh, Wrath Stance, so yeah, why not? We're doing it. I am actually not going to be blocking here. I'll just use this. Because that was a lot of damage and I can't pass it up. It's as simple as that. I really need like two of these pre-upgraded would be lovely. Or lots of multi-head attacks, I guess. That'll do too. Like, the more the merrier. Happy flower? Uh, I guess I can pick up halt. Alright, we have one more lead fight coming up, and this is why I'm actually considering resting here. Even though upgrading eruption is a really good idea. We'll rest. I have bottle. What's the boss fight? Guardian. Uh, I wish I had two pressure points now. Okay. I will use this though. I could have gotten rid of one of them, but that would have mean taking too much damage, so. It's better if I do it this way. Okay, this one's buffing anyway, so I actually made the right call there. By trying to eliminate the one that's gonna get five extra strength, of course. I actually don't need to be in vigilance. The two extra energy won't matter if I can get an eruption and one attack off. But I suppose that is not happening. At least not that turn. Windmill Strike takes way too long to build up. I'm gonna take an empty body, which is another way for me to exit Eruption. We are gonna get an anchor, that is lovely. And we are gonna get an early membership card. I would love indignation, but... Oh, wait a minute. I can... Oh, I had money! Or I could pick up the bomb. Do I have another Garen? No, absolutely no way to get a shop afterwards because we're going for the shop for the rest here, so we're gonna have two guaranteed fights. I do like indignation. I do like indignation, especially if you're in wrath form. It is a lot of vulnerability and it is really good. Of course I'm doing this. Well, that's the best we can do, which is a lot. 
which is a lot, considering you play, what is it, two cards? Oh, three cards, sorry, Happy Flower proc there. Right, Vigilance Halt, into Defend, into Pass. Now I just need my Eruption back. Oh, hello. Of course I'm going to use it here. In fact, I believe taking the damage here is the better call. I take 20, but potentially I might take a little bit less if I can t get rid of that sentry next turn. That is a big if, though. We have only 10 guaranteed damage next turn, so I'm risking it a little bit. And hoping to, of course. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Ay, oh, come on, game. Three days. I knew there was a chance I would draw one or two. And we're dead. I will not give you the satisfaction this time. No. You cannot have it. If I wasn't an interruption, there was probably just going to be a slow death. Not much of a point. I see triple quadruple rest with no elites, or that can be a triple rest with one elite. Well, okay. Has an early shop. Do I care about the early shop? Probably not. Mm, let's see. I'm trying to. No, never mind. Okay, let's go. It's to the left, and we have an option for quad rest or triple rest with an elite. Uh, sure, pick it up. It's early enough. Looks like we're going for a wrath again. Mm, I do like a good evaluate. Oh, come on. It had to be a fight. It couldn't be an event. Uh, what was the boss fight? Hexagos. Well, we don't really need AoE, but actually there was a battle hymn there. Why didn't I pick up the battle hymn? Uh, oh, good thing I picked up the AoE, actually. I am willing to take the damage here. The wizard, actually, we're not even going to take that much damage, are we? Eh, a little bit more than what I'd like, but... I should have gotten Consecrate, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was... One of those was a pull on attack card. Oh well. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to happen, except that they're all attacking me now. But that's fine. I might be playing a little bit risky today. Just a little bit. There's a fairy in a bottle there. Hello! Hello! Give me DSX Machina. Please! Works really well with that ability. Well, there's nothing much here I can do. Definitely not gonna Wrath there. Oh, he's doing a... sure. Three times Conjure Blade. Expunger, sorry. Absolutely fine with that. That is a lot of damage. Granted, I took some. I probably shouldn't have done that. Did I mention I'm tired? <laughs> oh, I know. I keep saying that. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's going to be a running gag after like two years of this. Uh, there is an indignation. Well, we are running Expunger. I would rather pick up Empty Fist, though. Another way to exit Wrath. I do like ways to exit Wrath. Alright, so I'm actually not going to rest here. I'm probably going to rest here or here. Or actually, no, not here because we're going to go for this late. So here, we're going to upgrade Eruption so we can play it a little bit easier. Because this one might be... Pair? Or Cloak Clasp. I actually don't mind Cloak Clasp that much. Upgrade a card! Yes, indeed. I believe this becomes zero cost, doesn't it? That's actually not a bad upgrade. Or I could upgrade the AoE. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Rushdown for now. Of course, it's the knob. It had to be in the knob. Oh, hello. That is a big expunger. If I get it in a turn with Eruption... Mm. Okay, I was really hoping for Eruption Expunger this turn, but never mind. That is so much damage, that is lethal. <laughs> Fossilized Helix. <laughs> One of the best relics in the game, in my opinion. In my opinion. It is so good! It is so good. It shows up so rarely. I thought they removed it. 
Uh, anyway, uh, I can't, well, I can pick up pressure points, we're not going to. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get blocked from these cards anyway, so we're not gonna waste the buffer here. We are probably gonna waste it here, though. So what's gonna happen is I'm actually not gonna go for the one that's buffing. Never mind. I had enough damage there. Bowling Dash isn't bad. Not against this enemy, but in general, Bowling Dash is not bad. I like it. Hello, upgrade, remove, or... I actually think preemptively upgrading either the AoE or the Bowling Dash is a good idea. We can do both. We do have a rest coming up. I'm upgrading all my aggressive cards and none of my defensive cards. Alright, so upgraded Bowling Dash, I really do want to upgrade Consecrate, but at the same time, I want to upgrade some defenses. There's too much stuff that I want to upgrade and I can't. Even though we could have had four rests, that still wouldn't have been enough. And the problem is, a buffer is actually not that good versus the enemy because the enemy has a lot of multi-hit attacks. Well, I mean, I could Eruption Vigilance or I could Vigilance Eruption. But I really want to get Expunger out first, so what we're going to do is we're just going to buffer here. And I'm going to hope to get Expunger next turn because I'd be willing to take the damage next turn. No, never mind. Problem is, the turn after this one is a multi-hit attack. Oh, and I could have had Empty Fist at the Vigilance. Oh, well, that's fine. There's a possibility that I might get em Empty Fist here. Or not. Well... I'm going to take the 12 here for the ton of damage that that's going to deal, eventually. All 12. Cloak Clasp. Uh, this is a little bit of an issue. <laughs> One block. Where is that expunger? It's at the very bottom of the deck. This is a joke. Oh. Oh, I can't Eruption Expunger here. It's not enough. It's never going to be enough. Oh, you're a little bit light. Uh, okay, I kind of want to use it here. Never mind. Uh, I think we might be dead. Not now, but in a little bit. I was about to say maybe not even this turn, but honestly, honestly, actually, okay, got it, good. So let's give that gives us extra energy, and I can actually play evaluate again. All right, well, we're not dead yet. Your fear expunger is here. When combined with uh, the eruption, it might be a good idea. Never mind. I can't block for sixteen. Well. 20. So there's no eruptioning here. Well, I do have Fairy in a bottle. I should have just done it. I should have. I didn't, but I should have. Oh, that is. I need to get Expunger. If I don't, on the first turn, we're basically goners. Well, we're goners. So one of the burns is going to trigger the fairy in a bottle, the rest is going to be pure damage. So we're back down to 8 health. I got some block, it's not attacking. I just need the expunger, that's it. Oh no, it's going to block, never mind. I need expunger and damage. Yes! It only took fairy in a bottle. Oh, hello, Vault. Actually, Blasphemy expunger is a... Mad combo, if I can play a big expunger, that is. That's a lot of ifs, and I prefer vault. Uh, we need the extra energy. Problem is Velvet Choker. Oh well. I, feel, I was not going to pick up Philosopher's Stone there. That was not happening. That's almost certain death. Okay, I see a triple rest with a single lead. Couple of question marks. Two early shops, though. Hmm. Well, I don't have much of a choice. I can't... Ah, I can. But it's an extra fight. Do I want an extra fight or do I want an extra shop? With 400 gold, I think I want an extra shop. 
Right, well, this enemy is going to stay in the stands for a little bit, so... They actually have no other way of entering eruption, so I'm... Kind of reluctant to play the Empty Fest. I might regret it, but I'm not going to do it. We have a buffer, so I can take one hit. Play that, play Rush Down, play Vault. Give ourselves one more turn. Oh boy. We're not guaranteed to get it next turn. But if we do... Oh, that's lethal. Which is more important. Yeah, we did. That's so much damage. I love the... I love Conjure Blade. When it works. Actually, that being said, Crescendo's not a bad idea with Conjure Blade. I mean, I can just keep it in my hand until the Expunger shows up. Hello. Apotheosis. Uh, the, the decisions. I could really use Apotheosis. This will probably end up being a slightly bigger than my usual deck. So Apotheosis will help. Oh, in boss fights mostly, in elite fights, but... It'll help. I need, I need a coin. I don't have a coin here. I want to flip a coin, but I don't have any coins. Oh, wait. I do have a coin. What is this? What is this? It's two quid. All right. Tails. Uh, all right. I guess I went. We're taking apotheosis. The coin flip decided. You know what they say about coin flips when you flip for a decision? You you know what you're going to do in the middle of the flip already. So I wanted apotheosis. I guess. Uh, we're going to strike here so we don't waste the extra energy and we're going to vault. Oh, come on. Well, we can still play a decent Conjure Blade. It's not going to be the biggest one I've seen. Okay, you're on lower HP. I definitely want to... Actually, blocking is pointless here. Because the first one's going to go to the buffer. So I might as well just play a slightly bigger Conjure Blade. Yeah, this is why I said it doesn't matter if I block for only 5. If I had blocked for 11, it would have mattered, but I didn't. Uh, we have Lethal here. Power Potion, nice. Uh, second Rush Down, no. One is enough, thank you. I have 220 gold, let's actually go for this. Oh, come on. Actually, Flash of, uh, Flash of Steel is not good with Velvet Joker. Alright, we're just gonna go for a card remove. Uh, our next upgrade is, of course, Apotheosis. Yeah, that's probably gonna be after the Elite fight, though. Okay, match and keep. Second Eruption. If it was pre upgraded, I'd probably take it. Oh, hello, I want that. Okay, hey, there it is. Okay. I definitely want this. It's a must have. Alright, rest here to guarantee. Well,. To be on the safe side. Let's not say guarantee. Let's say safe side. Well, we're definitely empty fisting here. Are we though? Yeah, we are. It's not gonna deal double damage. But it is gonna be used. Actually, what is the boss fight? I mean, even if it was the collector, I still wasn't gonna save that potion. Yeah, it is the collector. I mean, that potion's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I do love it, but... There's just better things. Alright, unless I can block for 13, it's pointless to block because the first hit is going to go for the buffer. And I cannot block for 13 because... Oh, wait a minute, can I? That's 10. We're going to be left with one, two, two cards in the deck. So close, close clasp, close, close clasp, I cannot speak today, is actually going to give us two block. It's not going to give us three unless I save the miracle. I can save the milk. It's going to be a slightly less powerful Conjure Blade, but I think it's worth it. Saving the HP might be worth it. Second head goes on the buffer. I take no damage. Uh, hello, Apotheosis. Really wish Vault was upgraded. Actually, Vault will be upgraded. Oh, would you look at that? Ah, yeah, that's Vault. Of course, of course. Uh, that actually upgrades the inside as well. <laughs> oh no, the upgraded expunger. Right. It does so much damage. Alright, this guarantees lethal on one of them. Uh, how much damage can I do? You have more HP, so you know what? Actually, you do less damage, though. Not gonna risk it. Should have played Bowling Bash first. I mean, that's fine. We have enough damage, but I... Right. 
Velvet Choker. Hmm. I forgot. I really did forget. I was like, wait a minute, we have the energy. Why can't I play the miracle? Uh, uh do I have only an empty fist, right? Okay, I'm gonna pick up empty body here. Let's upgrade apotheosis. And at this point, we are going to be upgrading only essential cards, which I guess we already do anyway. Blood Vial is good. Actually, it's great. It's extra HP, so is meat on the bone, of course. Burn 50 HP. I think we're fine. We have like three question marks and a guaranteed fight. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm likely to use Vault way before I get Apotheosis. So we're going to upgrade Vault. It's basically going to come down to am I likely to use this card before I pick up Vault? Before I play, sorry, Apotheosis. Uh, I'm saving this. We're not saving it. We're just going to do the damage. Do I want to do it on the Spirit Guardian, though? Granted, that only removed the block, but I was 30 blocks, so. I need to keep an eye on that Velvet Choker. Probably should have gone for the Sentry. Oh, right. There was no point in using that defend. First one goes to the buffer, second one goes to my HP pool. Alright, let's see what this is. Apotheosis only upgrades the cards that are already in the deck. That's gonna guarantee that Expunger is upgraded once created. Once created, that is. I can play a couple of cards here and I absolutely will. We're on three energy. In fact, I can play one more, but we have no more attacks. Ah, this is not the good turn to play Conjure Blade now, is it? Actually. Oh, come on! That was so close. That's a little bit unfair. That's three, that's four, and... That's five, and that's six. That's still 30 damage. So, wow. Alright, this is exactly what I wanted. One strike, one expunger. Okay, maybe I need a little bit more, alright? Alright. Just a little bit more. Pantheos is three short. A stance potion, sure that'll actually help. It's a backup plan. Okay, nope. The nest. We cannot take the ritual dagger. Nope. Even though... Ha! Huh. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play Protect here, and I mean, it's not like I can play anything else. And it's gonna be a Fork Sponger, but that's fine, because it's gonna be, what, 15 damage? Actually, I didn't need to play Protect at all. Oh my god, I've been making this point the whole video, and now I forget about it? Uh, of course, game, of course. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna go into Vigilance here and Vault. There's apotheosis for you. Hmm. Alright, we're probably gonna end up using the stance potion here. Actually, maybe not. That was exactly a six card. Because I was worried we might not have enough cards to play. Battle him is good, but uh we cannot afford to play it. Uh, well maybe we can. We're going to pick up a second Protect because we're lacking defenses. Currently, we're very heavily skewed towards Aggression, which is fine. Uh, but we're too heavily ske uh, skewed towards Aggression for my tastes. It's a personal thing. Right, we're definitely using Vault here. Again, it's just to give me the ability for an extra round or two. Yeah. This is a turn I cannot play Expunger, so we're not going to actually draw any cards. We're just going to focus on defense. If I do this, I save the buffer for the boss. If I don't, I take 21. Well, what could I do? And I didn't even check Velvet Choker there. That could have been a six card, the Miracle there. All right, we're playing Apotheosis another time. I think the expunger here is more important. Taking 14 is fine.
Right, he's not attacking. There's a rush down. Uh, there's the eruption. Let's actually take care of one of these. There's eruption back again. Sure. Okay, I can only play one more card. We're not going to be playing anything. Pass. We have uh, weakness now. That's fine. It's only doing 75. It's a minor inconvenience. Oh, I do want to defend here. That's for sure. And no expunger in the deck. Well. Don't have much choice. Ah. Yeah, it's these three that are bothering me. Actually, why didn't I play Empty Body? Oh well. I might be able to get what I want here, and I did not. Actually, Vigilance passed, so only empty bodies left in the deck, but... Oh, or... Actually, both of these are left in the deck. Right, 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 right. Right, I think it's the right call. Hello! Oh, wow, so, so much damage. So good, so fine. Right. That's only 15, all right. 16, I can only play one more card. There's Empty Fest, so only Empty Bodies left in here. I can play only one card. Do I exit my stance? Yes, I exit my stance. I don't take the risk. Without being debuffed, it's going to be easier to block. I mean, it's not exactly 29, but it saves the Protect for a worse turn. Well, one of the Protects, that's fine. I really want a Disruption, oh well. Oh well. Ooh, it would need to be upgraded so that it can retain, but yes. Blasphemy plus Expunger. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. That's a lot of moving parts though. Ah. Well, we're gonna pick it up anyway. I mean, there's no downside to picking this up. Except, you know, that I have extra energy and we have Elvish Choker, but that's about it. Triple Rest, no Elite. Oh, no, it has an Elite, never mind. Uh, but that is the only viable way to go. Very Late Chop, which is something I do like, but we have actually a lot of money, so I'm hoping for an early one as well. I'm hoping for two shops. Hello. Huh. Don't really need Expunger here, to be honest. That being said, though, would be a good idea. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I don't really need this to be played for too much. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, actually. Because that's lethal on all of them. Probably should crescendo here, but I'm not going to. Because I really want to get rid of the Exploder and start getting rid of these before they become insanely powerful. I'm gonna need to block here. Uh, this is the one I'm probably gonna be attacking. How many cards can I afford to use on block? Well, these two. I know I was gonna take damage there. There was just no avoiding it. I can only play five cards. Ah, hello, Blasphemy. Uh, problem is Blasphemy doesn't retain yet. Ah. We didn't get anything to exit our stands. On the bright side, these guys don't actually do much damage, so we're kind of fine. Oh wait! All oh, right, it was upgraded because of apotheosis. Now I can do one attack here. I have two more cards to play, but I can't really do any more attacks. So it's basically going to be uh, Protective Blasphemy and Expunger because what choice do I have in the matter? Actually, I can play a couple more defense cards. Alright, that's a little bit better. A power Potion, not bad. That was the first fight. Uh, I could lose the strike, here you go. Nope, not happening. Uh-uh.
Hmm. Question is to wrath or not to wrath? That is the question. These enemies are going to be interesting to fight, considering my AoE consists of Consecrate. <laughs> oh no. Wait a minute. You're attacking two turns in a row? That's not fair. It's not fair at all. Well, I don't have much of a choice here. I am going to take a lot of damage, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I don't have any defensive cards. This is not going to help. Neither is this. I guess this will help slightly in the longer run. Maybe this will actually. We don't really need all that energy. That being said, there's nothing I can do. There just isn't. What? When is this a thing? All right, well, anyway, um, I can't actually go into Vigilance, all right? Never mind. I was planning on doing it, but never mind. But Expunger's guaranteed lethal on one of them. At this point, actually entering Wrath Stance is a good idea, because I need to get rid of these guys. I can only play one more card. Okay, one HP, that's fine. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to do about this one unless I get a bunch of attacks. A bunch of expunger attacks, that is. And there's nothing I can do. This one's going to wake up now. Oh boy. Well, I could use this. Hello. No, I should have used Building Bash first. I am an idiot. Actually, I should have defended. No, well. Uh, sure, let's use Apotheosis. Uh, sure, that's 15 block, whatever. Uh, disappointing. Yeah, now they're all awake. How much is this going to do under Blasphemy? Enough to one shot. Uh, this, though. Actually, it is enough to one shot, isn't it? Of course it is. I don't want to exit my stance though. Is that happening? Not yet. Okay, good. We survived. Oh, there's still an elite fight. Uh, never mind. There might not be no one. Can I get something with artifacting, please? Actually, honestly, let's go. I mean, I was considering judgment, but no. Hello! Oh, this means I lose these two though, which means I can't actually exit my stance. And I really don't have many attacks left in the deck, so... I have basically been defeated. Why did I block there? Alright, oh, Constriction still takes effect. How bad of a turn is this for Conjure Blade, huh? Uh, okay, I do have three cards left. Which means that this hit will be taken by the block, and this one will be taken by the buffer. Oh no, wait, right, Constriction goes first. Right, 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 right. Mm, 15 tripled is, well, let me see, to the power to, of 2, divide by 8, multiply by 147, 45, alright. That's enough. I'm actually willing to pick this up. Or halt. It's one of the two. I'm gonna go with Empty Fist, though. I think we're gonna- oh, we're definitely gonna need it. Turn one. Opens up with a huge hit. Well, don't have much of a choice. Turn two. Can't do anything. Turn three. Opens up with a bigger hit. Oh yeah, I was correct. Now, I mean, it's not like I can do much. I'm still going to have to get it on the correct turn, though. Actually, why did I block? I'm an idiot. I have buffer. There was no need. I wasted energy, basically. Uh, I can't do anything here, so I might as well just defend. I mean, I can use this. I guess it's one damage. You never know. Could come in handy. Uh, this is actually the correct turn, and I believe we do have lethal, so... I lucked out, okay? 
I lucked out. <laughs> I might not have gotten expunger on the correct turn until I died. Do I need a second AoE attack? Uh, probably, to be honest. 24 cards, I only have one of these. Sure. We're resting here. I don't really have anything too vital to upgrade. Now I just need to be careful of... Transient, maybe? We have no more elite fights coming up, so... Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure we have things to be scared of. Like, even this is a little bit scary. In fact, I actually don't want to use Vault here. Because I don't want to run into... Uh, Conjure Blade. Oh. Oh, this one's going to the buffer, that's for sure. There's just no point in blocking there. I wasn't going to get 30 block. Alright, we're going to use this before we get the blade, that's fine. I would rather use it early than not at all. Ah. This is what I was afraid of. Well, I can block for 12. Or for a little bit more. This thing has a lot of HP, though. And it does buff. Actually, that's still a 4 Conjure Blade. Because of Apotheosis. I can't even take Deus Ex Machina here. Because of Velvet Choker, I cannot take Deus Ex Machina, so... That's a... Well, I can take it, but it's gonna be a turn that's solely dedicated to Conjure Blade. All right. Well, this is why I was saving the Stance Potion, because there's no way I'm blocking for 90. That's... Manageable. Well, more manageable. So painful, but manageable. Alright, there's Blasphemy. We technically... There's a Vault. I could empty Fist here. We don't really need the energy. Just for the extra damage, uh, then Vault. I mean... Why not play it? <laughs> there's no point in not playing it. That's the best we can do. Ah, I should have. That was gonna be lethal. I was. I was saving it for expunger. I was too blinded. Uh, okay. Why are you do? All oh, right, fifteen strength. If I blasphemy here, yeah. Not enough. No matter how I try to calculate it, it's not enough. Uh, my best course of action is just straight up defending as much as possible. 16, that's 10 for one energy, but I have nothing to combo it with, so yeah, sure. Yeah, that's actually not bad, we're still a lot. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. I must have miscalculated there by one attack. Oh well, it happens. Anyway, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.